Here's how you can make letters made out of half tone lines in Illustrator. Select the rectangle. I'm going to create a narrow line like this. Press and hold Alt, drag the line down. Also press Shift to isolate in order to create a copy. Press Control D to duplicate. I'm going to create 12 copies. And I'm going to put these here. And I'm going to select the top line, press and hold Alt, drag it to the left. Also press Shift to isolate. And I'm going to squeeze it. And I'm going to make it half the size like the first one was before. See that? And now I'm going to press and hold Alt to drag it down. Also press Shift and make sure that it's going to intersect at the top of the second thick line. And from here, we can press Control D to duplicate like that. And next, I'm going to continue this. I'm going to select the top line, which is the thinner one. Press and hold Alt to drag it to the left. Press and hold Shift to isolate. And now I'm going to just squeeze it even more, make it more thinner until it's going to be half the size as this thicker one. And we're going to repeat the same process. Now I'm going to group every each of these. Right click group, select all right click group. And with the thinnest one as well. There you go. Now I'm going to put these up here and I'm going to select the type tool. I'm going to type in the letter S. Press and hold shift plus alt scale it up and I'm going to select the Akira font. Right click, create outline, press and hold shift, rotate it 45 degrees. Now also we're going to need to make sure that this is going to be on the top of these lines. So right click on it, arrange, bring to front and we're going to need to reset the bounding box on it. So we can go to object, transform, a reset bounding box. And another thing we're going to need to do is create a compound path out of this because otherwise we cannot create these line effects on the text. So I'm going to go to the object, compound path and make. Now it's going to make it white, but you can go back and add a black color. And from here, all I need to do is just position the letter S on the thick line pattern and make sure that it's going to hit the top area like here. Press and hold shift, scale it down and make sure to fit perfectly like this. Press and hold alt, create a new copy and paste it to the second line pattern. And let's do this again. Press and hold alt, drag it, intersect it. There you go. And now from here, we can create a clipping mask. So what I got to do is select these lines and the letter S right click, make clipping mask. And I got to do the same thing with the other ones as well. And I'm going to select the letter S with the thickest lines and I'm going to bring it in here and the thinnest lines also. And yeah, look at that. This came out successful. And this is how you create letters with half tone lines here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.